Give me my reaction for Sabatura's KOCD song uh, Nomad. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think I really, really like this song, uh, Nomad, uh, from Sepultura's album KSAD. It's, it's a really good riff to the song, and it's so uh, explained, like, uh, many the century to go, no man's land, the sand is gone. Like, it's very, it's a very good song, and I think, um, like, uh, Sepultura, Sepultura is... Is a metal was a metal band. It's still, but with Max Kerr and Igor, it's like it's almost impossible to do a same amount of variation of uh, different songs, different albums to make it so good. Like there's so few metal uh, trash metal band and uh, hardcore metal band and so on. So you can really compare with Sepultura, like they are not ma they're not as famous as maybe like Slipknot or um, uh, Seven Dust or Dream Theaters or but they are a special thing like Sepultura is so it's very difficult like, it's, it's hard to do what Sepultura do in the in the older time like with KSED and uh, the Roots album, and before that, uh, Beneath the Remains, that is like, it's always gonna be a classic, classics, you can, uh, like, and, so, yeah, so the, the song is, uh, I, really, they like, I really like with the song, it's because of the song is very dirty, the song is very, the riff is very dirty, a dirty riff, like, you really, you feel like you are in the desert, it's nothing else, like desert, and maybe some few people like very very uh, desert like apocalyptic ending uh, style yeah let's continue And, he, and here we talk about like uh, many uh, uh, primal step. The as I, I I'm not sure, but I think he talking about the uh, is the the Mongols. Uh, what he mean with the nomads, or do he mean some nomads, um, from uh, like native native nomad like uh, uh, people in Amazons, or do he mean like uh, people in Africa, um. Like if we talk a primal step, so I've probably I, I, somebody have to correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably uh, I suspect he talk about like uh, Central Asian nomads, like uh, to many ten, like you cannot stop the tribe, uh, or he talk about the Native Americans. Uh, I really like it. It's very nice uh, how he explain with the guitar in the background. And across the bass and across the drums, is everything is so uh, 
good and so this very I really like the riff and everything in the song. It's a very very powerful um and very 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 aggressive and uh, uh, very aggressive and corroded uh, sound. It's a really nice. Uh, yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Powerful, yeah, it's a, it's a really, really nice beat, and yeah, I really like this. Let's go. Exactly. Uh, who were you uh, to judge the tribes? Your world be gonna be ashes, and your world gonna go down. And that is true. Like in all of history, when you mess with the nomads, it's the end of your kingdoms. And yeah, I really like it. It's um, very powerful, but that is very explaining. And. And I think in that part he really really talked about the Mongols. He said, who are you to justify the tribes? Your world is going to be is, is extinct. Your flesh is going to be rotten. And that is true. Like, uh, it's a very powerful meaning. Like, uh, don't mess with them if you don't want your world to be burned up. And yeah, so there is a very, very powerful song. that you can, there's many things you can think about when you hear this song you can think about the Mongols uh, many other tribe tribal people and it's very very it's like it's very nice it's very hard for me to explain what kind of like this very rotten and very 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 like uh, dirty corroded and sound is like very very powerful like not it's like like uh, the way of how metal music was before it was too mainstream this music is very very real metal it's like really like in your face like a like a uh, atomic bomb in your face like that kind of style feeling um, and yeah so that is um my uh, reaction to Septura KSD uh, Nomad. Um, yeah, let's finish it.
and uh, Igor always brings his A game to the game always when he play like I think I think because I is so uh, Igor is so good uh, trummers like he from like Sabatura time to uh, Cavalier Conspiracy is like totally he can always change his riff like and he, he can use like he also also play in drum and bass like mixed tell so he's very good he's a very good drummer for he can really really bring like different flavor like one is like uh, uh, rotten heavy the other one is like super aggressive the other one is like f very electric and uh, yeah so they are uh, they are like two uh, godzillas like they are um, they are like uh, power couples like they are powerful like uh, yeah they I, I don't think this is any metal brothers in a whole of history like okay maybe okay I'm gonna get lots of hate now but maybe uh, the Pantera brothers like the guitarist from oh, it's, uh, it's very sad that he's he's gone uh, and uh, Dying by Dero is uh, always going to be a legend for always guitar. He's always a, uh, one of the uh, guards of guitar playing. Like Jimi Hendrix, Dying by Dero is one of the absolute best guitarists in whole history. And it's always going to be that. Uh, but Igor and Max is the absolutely the best uh, uh, two metal brothers. And um, yeah, so I'm very glad for all the separate album they have made together uh, and uh, separately like Igor with but I'm also very very happy that they have left Sepultura and do a new band like Cavalier Conspiracy I'm very glad for that for I think that is very nice they have uh, bring like we, we like they need more power heavy they need more heavy music these two people like Max and Igor because if they stay stay with up to uh, this now that will never work like we, the, the younger generation will uh, will